What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Real Time. I'm Rob. I'm Bryce. And I'm Zaf. And today we are back with Season 2, Episode 3 of Abbott Elementary. This one is called Story Samurai. No clue what that title is about. Maybe... Actually, I'm not even going to guess because uh, I, I really can't. Uh, it's Story Samurai. With a unique title like that, I would like to just go into it and try to figure it out myself. No clue. Hopefully, maybe we'll see a samurai yeah, in this episode. Like Someone that. dressed up as a samurai. That'd be pretty cool. Like but uh, last episode, biggest thing probably, at least the biggest thing to me, was the split up of Gregory yeah. and Taylor. And just the way that it happened was so funny. Gregory was like planning on teetering out with Taylor. Teetering petering petering out with taylor <laughs> and he decided against it he he thought that like that's not him i'm gonna just be honest with barbara her mom and what happened um just the unexpected barbara was actually the one who spilled the beans mm. about taylor petering out with greg yeah. so i mean insane it, it's it's weird how it happened but like i'm glad that it did yeah. because now Gregory is also single. Yeah, I mean, they, they were kind of figuring out what to do with that grant money. The grant money has been like a thing over the past few episodes that they were awarded. I think it was like the Ava vs. Superintendent episode where she had to yeah. like go like present. But they've been kind of debating what to do with this money. Everyone had their own idea, so they hosted that Shark Tank last episode. It was Ava, Mr. Johnson, and Courtney as the sharks deciding where the money went. And who won? Janine, surprisingly. She finally at first, got a W. At first, she won. She still won, but she just didn't get her prize, which sucks. But then rats came, or, or mice, and they had to get rid of that, and they only had a few hundred bucks left. And that was put towards the lunch, lunch man's yeah. water ice truck. And the kids loved it mm -hmm. and made them feel cool. Like, it's a big flex having a water ice truck, especially compared to Addington. Those nerdy ass kids, screw them. Just kidding, they're just kids, but it sucks because they worked so hard for that grant money and they wanted it so bad and all it did was get rid of mice and get the kids each like one cup of water ice. It's like, didn't really do much for the resources they had like to improve anything, yeah. which not, like, it's like now we need more money. Like how, I feel like that's the, the story though of the school is like, they just are always gonna need more stuff and it's just working with what they got which was what Barbara is always harping, so. All right, guys, well, that is pretty much it. Before we do get into this episode, if you have been liking all the Abbott Elementary reactions, please leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Check out all the links in our description as well. We got the Patreon, Discord, all of our social medias down there, as well as the address to our PO box. Send us something to be opened up on camera, like everything you see behind us right now, for our show mail time. And with all that being said, guys, we're going to get right into this episode, Abbott Elementary, Season 2, Episode 3, Story Samurai. Let's do it. I'm behind on lesson plans, but it's too early in the year to show movies. I'm doing Lego Day to catch up. The kids love it. I always end up with Lego Toe. Exactly. I bought so many packs, Lego owes me a sponsorship already. Look at her mugs off. What does it say? Coffee mug. Keep calm and Tucci on. Oh my. We need to get you that. That is so cool. Bail time. I have watched uh, oh the Oh my. Book. I've watched the book. Here's a reminder that some goofy group is coming through to do camp songs or something, so... Check the, the troublemakers. See classes up. Holy shit. The story samurai. Yeah, he's doing samurai shit. These are the story samurai. They're a storytelling group that goes all up and down the East Coast improvising plays based on the kids' ideas. <laughs> I used to be in it. What? Oh, uh, what? Everyone is a story. Look, I don't condone violence, but it slaps. I can't do him sometimes. He's so corny. You're gonna want to see this. It's it's not like some whack puppet show. Look, it is gonna be pretty cool. Janine, Gregory, y'all pulling up? Yeah. <laughs> y'all pulling up? Over. Yeah. <laughs> I'll walk over. <laughs> you save those aids for the youngins. All right. Well, don't say I didn't try to help. Everybody say young Ava is unreliable, but even a broken clock is right once a day. Twice a day. May we have a suggestion for a character? Yeah, never mind. Meek Mill. <laughs> what if Meek Mill was a meerkat? Uh, I don't know about that. But it's not a story unless there's some conflict. Oh, I hate this, bro. His ATV broke down <laughs> in the wrong hood. <laughs> <laughs> This is too corny, even for me. Yeah, yeah. But Jacob loves it, so thank goodness it's in his past. And I can see him here. doing this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think he might hop on stage. 
Shout mm -hmm. out to the guy who played the original Jimmy. Wonder what he's up to. Drake. He, he's Drake. Oh, he's Drake. She was in a Degrassi reenactment group. Oh my, that's so cool. You should do that. Story samurais with slice down barriers. If you need a story, we're in your area. Oh my God, Jacob, please. It was great. It was incredible. I honestly cannot wait to see it. Barbara's gonna fucking hate it, bro. I feel bad for him. He likes it a lot. It's so corny. The samurai have asked me yes, he's going up. Hill to join the afternoon show. Yes. Hey, you say bro. Yes, bro. Of course I did. <laughs> oh, hey, God. Man. Wait till you see Rosa Parks and Rack. I'm serious. Clear my afternoon. Instead of reminding the Western boy and bash himself. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be so bad. And this is a new generation of samurai. They need to feel good about themselves, and they probably can't compare. You don't want to upstage them, do you? Janine, I didn't even think of that. Is she trying to make him not embarrass himself? Yeah, I think so. I think all the kids would lose all respect for him. That they have left. I feel like he might not have taken that, like, I'm not going to do it. He's going to be like, I'll just take a back seat now. Yeah. But he's not going to take a back seat. Okay, thank you, Jamil, but you gotta do your worksheet, okay? I they gotta question. answer. Yeah, honey, hang on. Dude, that's crazy. Her class is broken down to second and third grade. No, no, no. Can I borrow you? Let me see this. Okay, second graders only. Can you tell me which clock? Imagine teaching two different years. That's insane. Are you good? Oh, me? I'm fine. Desiree, where are you going? Third graders get to go to the library by themselves. You're not in the third grade. Depends where you sit. Anybody else in the class sitting on the wrong side? Switch. Oh, a large portion of them. Taught the two times table, but I did convince Jacob not to perform. Thank goodness. Oh no, oh, Ava's pissed. She's gonna make sure it happens. To protect his feelings. Uh. Jacob just put so much thought into how he's perceived. It doesn't hurt anyone. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna be Ava's bad. Ava's gonna convince him. <laughs> Are you okay? Yes. Cut out of the story samurai. Oh my god. Oh, without a head. A headless story samurai. I am honored by the invitation to perform with you all, but uh, I think I gotta sit this one out. Man, he was gonna come is. stumbling in. So You're playing at this. Sensei. Ah. Oh. What's up, Mr. C? Hey, Clarence. Meet the story samurai. <sighs> no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should consider working in a school, you know, full time when you're out. I don't know. I was planning on auditioning for SNL, or if not that, a YouTube channel. I was thinking about that too. An all school assembly so that we can watch our own Mr. Hill perform with the Story Samurai. <laughs> It'll be like watching the game perform one night only with G Unit. You got this, Mr. C. Oh no, this is bad. What if what if he makes it cool somehow? What if he actually is good at it or yeah. something? I don't know. You're gonna be live streaming the whole thing? Oh yeah. It's gonna open a whole new corner of TikTok for me. Well, I so appreciate you using your platform to amplify our message. <laughs> I do feel bad. For I him. feel yeah. so bad. He's so kind. He just is so oblivious though, so it's hard to like feel really bad for him. Like it's pretty obvious that she's <laughs> not in his best interest. Jacob, Ava just wants you to perform so that everyone can laugh at you. They're gonna laugh with us. It's a pretty biting satire. It's... No, no, they're going to laugh at you because Jacob, the story samurai are corny as hell. Yeah. This is the reality, Jacob. I'm sorry. Jacob's realizing he's corny. I'm c corny. Ah, oh, the kids. Why do they call you Mr. C? I have Kendrick Lamar on vinyl. Hey, is that corny? Look, and the samurai are not corny, okay? At the end of the day, I'm corny. And at the beginning of the day, too. <laughs> I am not Hillary Swank and Freedom Writers. You are Hillary Swank and Freedom Writers. You are Michelle Pfeiffer in Dangerous Minds. You are Sandra Bullock in, in Bird Box. <laughs> Bird Box. <laughs> Bird Box. <laughs> Would a corny person stage a one-man show called The Color Urkel? Did you do that? Then yeah. Damn. Dude. I feel bad. This school district offers you absolutely nothing. And the mere fact that they are offering you something is all the proof that you need. Yeah, maybe having an aide wouldn't be so bad. 
Oh, is she gonna get a teaching aid? But I'm just trying to save him from embarrassment. He was gonna look like a fool in front of the entire school. If we like him for it and he really wanted to do it, I don't see why you would stop him from being him. Mmm, that's a good perspective, I think. We call him Mr. C because he's corny, but I like his class. It's fun. He's cool. I got respect for him. Man. Dude, I want him to perform now. I just, I haven't felt this much emotion. Ever. Yay. Okay, can I get a suggestion? A tiger. I heard tiger. Because he said it. <laughs> yeah, I want to sell cereal, but my tiger dad wants me to stay in the forest. Is he Tony the Tiger? He's cereal mascot to describe racial discrimination. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. These stripes are feeling like prison bars. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you were wrong, bro. I didn't know Jacob was performing. Thank you, fam, for helping me be who I am. Who I am. Who I am. Who I am. <laughs> who I am. Dude, I had chills that whole time. I was loving it. I was... That was crazy. I'm so happy for him. I'm, I'm glad he Whatever did. Whatever he likes, I guess. I am Jacob Hill, and I think he I'm might be my favorite him. character. He's corny, and that's corny. okay. Corny isn't bad. <laughs> <laughs> when you guys Voltron yourselves into a black Sean King, I I die. I die. <laughs> and the singing. <laughs> and those outfits. <laughs> Your curly ass head. <laughs> 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 can you get your corny asses out here so I can clean? <laughs> only get it. So, your request for a teacher's aid. Uh, I think this has been my favorite episode. Who's her teacher's aid? When, when's she getting here? <laughs> well, look like she's here now. She's not going to like this lady, bro. Waiting for Ashley. Oh, Boston. I'll be the aid of your dreams. Waiting for Ashley. Oh, that's Jalen Brown. What's up, Melissa? I'm Ashley. Oh, wait. I, I mean, I, the Sixers and the Celtics aren't too. Yeah, I mean, Lopez. Eastern Conference rivals. Yeah, I, and she's a big sports gal. Homework is the jam. Homework is the jam. You don't think. I mean, they have to be virgins, right? <laughs> Damn, Gregory. Can we get a suggestion? Yeah. Beat it. <laughs> Just beat it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling the police. <laughs> oh, no, he, he's, they were doing no, Michael okay. Jackson. That was a really good episode. I think that was my favorite episode. I just, I felt so bad for Jacob. I think I just love him. He's probably my favorite character. Yeah, I, I feel like we haven't got an episode in a long time where he's gotten to be like the main and like shine a whole lot. And I feel like this was. Oh, this he was shined. Like, he shined. I really liked him this episode as well. I feel really bad for Melissa. I mean, she literally, I've never heard of that. Having to teach two grades at once. No, yeah, that seems impossible. Obviously, in the same room. Obviously, besides like college or something i mean even high school has like it's not like that though you know what i mean like yeah, she, yeah. they teach different subjects yeah like maybe a lower grade like these kids like have that. already learned the material yeah. they just i don't i forget their i don't know if it if, if it's that they don't have enough room in the third like for the third grade teachers or what but i don't know if that teaching aid is going to be a recurring character i think she'll be here for at least a few episodes but they are not going to get along she is she kind of reminded me of the story samurai she was all like <laughs> Peppy Maybe and... she'll surprise us. I don't know. I thought the story samurais in general, though. I think they all did a, a good job. They were funny. They were <laughs> at the end, especially when Ava said beat it, and they started doing a whole bunch of Michael Jackson dances. That was hilarious. They were, they were funny, just not my. T I would not no, no. find enjoyment out of that. I, I'm. I bet. I'd laugh. I bet if I was like a second grader, it'd be funny just to see a bunch yeah. of people acting goofy up on a stage at school like i i remember being in like first grade or something and there was like an acapella group or something at our school and i would probably think it was the corniest shit ever now if i saw that yeah but i mean back then like you're a kid and thought it was cool i mean these kids definitely didn't think that the story samurais were cool i think that they were just having fun 
yeah. all making fun of it together. They really wanted um. Now we know they call him Mr. C because he's corny. Yeah, he's Mr. Corny. But they wanted him to go up there. I mean, they're big. They think he's cool. They like that he's corny. They love his class. I mean, yeah, it's I like his personality. I, that's I like what he what, is. I, I did like what Jacob said. He's like. I'm corny and that's okay like doesn't mean that I'm not cool because I'm corny it's just who I am and I, I did like that they they showed like that one kid saying that he, Clarence. he yeah Clarence he likes Jacob and he thinks he's a cool teacher like he likes his classes that's really cool all right guys well that is pretty much it for this episode if you haven't like an all our Abbott elementary reactions please leave a like drop a comment and subscribe check out the links in our description as well we got the patreon discord all of our social media is down there as well as the address to our p.o box send us something to be opened up on camera like everything you see behind us right now for our show mail time and with all that being said guys we will see you next time for Abbott elementary season two episode four peace out